Hey, it's Silver Dollar. I'm here playing this brand new game called Bacon Man and Adventure. So yeah, it's really, really brand new, as in it's only an alpha right now. And they are currently working on a Kickstarter campaign. So I think there's about two weeks left of the campaign when I was making this video. So basically it's a action, you know, side-scrolling platformer. Uh, you, as you know, you'd probably figure out from the name, you are a strip of bacon. So, you know, everyone's favorite meat is now come to your computer screen. Um, but yeah, the game's got a great, you know, pretty great feel though. This first level, I think it's called the freezer. So it's whoever that large pork man was drops you down here and, you know, you sort of get the run through on the controls a little bit. So this is the first boss. Um, who takes some issues with our food choices Excalibur and yeah this is where you get to learn how to jump basically somehow he's invincible I guess I think we're all invincible in this game you get to restart a lot um, as I learned when I was playing this yeah I <laughs> have some jumping issues uh, the game, yeah, it gets played on um, controller at the moment. I'm not sure if, I, I think later on they're going to bring keyboard support for it. But I was playing this on the PC, but using uh, one of those like Windows, Xbox controllers. So yeah, got some mad jumping skills. That was a great fight. Uh, yeah, these little hand things here, that's like all your save points. So there's a ton of save points throughout the game, but... I mean, maybe I maybe I just suck at it, <laughs> which is highly possible. Uh, but you definitely need the save points a lot. I was dying all over the place. Um, you know, some parts uh, were pretty straightforward, but there's definitely a few ones where you got to combine. You know, you maybe got to make 15 jumps in a row or something, and that was yeah, definitely uh, tricky, especially when you're sort of learning the controls and stuff. Uh, the game's got some pretty good feel to it. It's really fluid. Um, nice kind of engine. I think it's built on the Unreal Engine. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw on the splash screen. So, yeah, it's got a really nice feel, though. A little bit of depth, so, you know, different than your regular, uh, like, old-school platformer. But it really feels like... Hmm, I'd say uh, Earthworm Jim is probably the closest for me. That was a Sega, or I played it on Sega when it was out. And it's sort of similar, almost a similar artistic feel to it a little bit. Definitely a similar gameplay. Earthworm Jim, you're, uh, again, as the name implies, you're an earthworm. And there's like a lot of swinging around in the game. Like you'd hook on your head to like metal hooks and swing around and stuff. Um, so it really, yeah, had a similar feel to that. So I think anyone who, anyone who liked Earthworm Jim, which is a great game, if you never played it, worth checking out, um, would probably like this. And probably the other game that came to mind for me, I think, was uh, Rayman. That's I never played the Rayman series too much, but uh, from the time I did, it definitely felt familiar. And then I guess you know, Mega Man as well, but not, not as much for me, but. Other people might disagree. Um, so yeah, the t you know the game's kind of got this like, I guess American bacon American theme a little bit <laughs> going on. You know, red bacon, blue and white suit. You're basically Captain America for fat people, I think. But yeah, <laughs> so yeah, this is the first part where I started kind of having trouble. I think you had to. Knee, knee this guy in the air. I don't know what was going on. I eventually sorted it out, but it was it just wasn't wasn't pretty. <laughs> I've cut out some of those some of the fails, but I left a few in. Yeah, ah, the spikes. Like you can, there's a whole bunch of different moves, but I guess once you get them, once you get them down, it, it actually feels pretty good to fight because you can do combos and stuff. So that's kind of where the the fighting gets a bit more interesting. So I think you can knee people, uppercut, uh, and do these like kicks in the air. And when you do the kicks properly, like this little animation shows, uh, you actually can kind of travel in the air. And I wasn't getting this, so I kept uppercutting 
Like, I don't- I did this so many times, it was embarrassing. Like, so many times. But, you know, as bad as I am, maybe at the game, I make up for it in persistence. So yeah, oh, finally got through. Okay, there's our little boar friend again. Um, there's a bunch of different minions. I mean, this is alpha, but there's still quite a few. There's these little guys that shoot you. Snow troopers. Uh, the icebergs, those little blue guys I was kicking around. Uh, the flying girl that we saw earlier, Shrimp Valkyrie. And we'll see one more guy later that's like a hammer brother to Mago. So yeah, this place here is the first time you actually get a, a gun. It's like a toaster. Toaster, you shoot toast, I think. Just so gotta hit this little, ooh, one of those fancy fish that, you know, traps people. Yeah, the, there's a, in the demo, there's only the toaster gun, but I think later on, uh, you can shop for a bunch of different kitchen related, kitchen themed, uh, items. So I'm sure there'll be like a frying pan in there or, you know, something fancy like that. Poor king. This guy is really creeping me out though. He's got no pants on, only cuffs and a collar. And he's clearly done some very heavy drugs. If you look at his eyes, they're just out of this world. So, yeah, Bacon Man's not the sharpest um, food item in the fridge. Because he's, yeah, he seems to buy this large, fat, pink babies. Whatever this guy says. <laughs> and he's definitely brainwashed, though. I guess that's true. So, yeah, the story uh, is a bit... A bit odd, but it's, you know, it's all pretty tongue-in-cheek, so it's kind of funny. Um, I think the, the story they put on their websites is, uh, Old King Roast Beef has been brutally murdered, and his obviously innocent grandson, Bacon Man, has been framed by the Food Kings. Escape the clutches of evil, gather allies, and help Bacon Man restore his rightful place on the meat throne. I mean, you know, who can't, who can't love that storyline? It's basically Lord of the Rings for food or something. I don't know. There's got to be a better, <laughs> closer story, but that's all I got. All right. So this is sort of, yeah, the I guess the second half of it, I think. Um, and this is where this part had a little bit more jumping uh, and it got a little bit trickier. You, these ice blocks. I mean, this part isn't hard. It's just you just got to be careful and not be stupid like that. But uh, I, I got out some of the fails here, so you'll see the ice blocks stick around. Um, so I guess I at least tossed a few a few more in there. Yeah, we some some minor issues. Oh yeah, there's a few more. <laughs> a little combo combo fighting time. Yeah, these blowfish. This is the jumping stuff I was talking about. Yeah, and spikes. I landed on those quite a bit. It was not pretty. This is some sort of. Uh, I don't know what this is. Lobster boss, I guess. I think he's got a pincer on his arm there. It's a little, ah, and a big, yeah, a big sword. So he wa he wasn't hard to fight really. It was just sort of awkward. I think I ended up just standing up top and pegging him off of those things. But yeah, a bit of, bit of a strange boss. Looks kind of cool. Hard to dodge the, kind of hard to dodge the sword. You have a shield actually that I kept, uh, kind of kept forgetting about so i think when you get a little bit more used to it the shield's pretty clutch you could block all sorts of stuff and then apparently later on once uh once you kind of pass through the levels you can like level up your strength or your hp uh and there might be like i think you can probably pick up other items maybe in addition to weapons so it's got that little you know level up sort of a little bit of an rpg i guess aspect to it I'm just being real cheap here, just pegging this guy off with those things. <laughs> it's hard though sometimes if uh you know you can't just stand still and fight him, so it does sort of force you to try doing try doing slightly different different things um which you know it's good it kind of mixes up the gameplay a little, which is always which is fun um I don't think it's in the alpha yet, but uh there will eventually be a local. Uh, co-op play which is kind of fun oh my god this part was driving me insane okay the dropping part's not too bad but the spikes they get you they get you every time yeah <laughs> all 
Um, yes. Okay, now that, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. This part right here is a huge drop, and you got to jump off the wall but not hit the spikes because there's another blue spike right on the bottom there. It's insane. Insane. These are like the Hammer Brothers uh, from, you know, anyone Mario fans. Shield. This is where the shield came in handy. These guys kicked my butt a few times, so I finally figured that out. Uh, yeah, a little shield gun action. I think maybe make if they can make this guy run around a little bit, probably be might be a bit more interesting. But I think there there's some AI stuff they're gonna play with. Um, I think just at the beginning of the video, uh, I had the background music on. It it kind of cut out when I was alt tabbing, but um, the soundtrack's actually pretty decent at the moment for the game. So I think it was I think it's like a full orchestra or something. So for you know for an indie game, um, the soundtrack actually seemed pretty pretty developed, which was kind of cool. This was in some insane jumping. This was a glorious glorious moment when I made it <laughs> to that point. You know, I was, yeah, so happy. <laughs> it, um, I think in that respect, you know, it does feel like, it definitely feels like you're sort of your old console games where, you know, you have save points, but you don't, you know, you don't necessarily just save the game every two seconds. Um, and it is challenging. So you end up kind of having to redo this, you know, the same stuff over and over until you really like perfect it. So, you know, it is kind of fun because with 3D games, they got away from that a little bit. Um, I think you're starting to see it more oddly in, like, uh, phone games. I think they seem to have more of these, you know, uh, permadeath stuff where you've got to keep, you know, regenerating and doing the same thing over and over. But, yeah, this this game kind of captured that pretty well. That is, oh, my God... Yeah, that was a big save. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you know, it's not that hard, but you definitely the first time through is, is tough because you just have no clue where you're going. Ah, this is probably a little, yeah, a couple, took me a couple tries for sure. I, I chopped a few out, but I think I, by this point I was actually getting a little bit. A little bit better so it wasn't a total total write-off it's hard to stand in one spot though that's what's tough about it jeez it's really yeah yeah oh my gosh okay finally made it <sighs> that one was just like exhausting exhausting all right number ha yeah another hammer guy but so yeah, that's where you see like you can't just sometimes you can't just stand there and knock them out. You got to kind of jump back, use your shield a little. Um, this again was tricky. It took me a bit to figure it out, which is kind of sad. But I thought there was like a lever on the wall. See the blue lever? There you go, a little toast. Yeah, so check out their Kickstarter. I think they're trying to get 20k. They're at just over half at the moment. And yeah, it's a fun game. So if you're into side-scrolling platform stuff, uh, definitely worth checking out. S-L-V-R-D-L-L-R.